And we are one minute from retrofire. Mark. All aircraft are on station as of 1849 Zulu. Network SRO. Go SRO. Do I have an IP for you from our computer? Okay. Cavalry. 24 degrees 44 minutes Roger north. Flight, understand me. The prime recovery ship, the USS Wasp, was on station some 600 miles east of Cape Kennedy as the retro rockets fired. The spacecraft is entering the Earth's atmosphere at 400,000 feet. We have a chance to make the last ride down with the crew, looking out the pilot's window. Heat of re-entry becomes intense. Particles flake off the ablative heat shield and fly onto the window. The intense heat will now break off our communication with the ground for about four minutes. We are midway across the continent, near the Mississippi Delta. The crew has been coming in for 27 minutes. Communications blackout is over. A ground station talks to Jim Lovell. Houston, our data shows you're right in the money. Roger. Less than 10 minutes to splashdown. Main parachute sighted in full view of the WASP. The Atlantic Chief from the WASP. They estimate the range of five miles to starboard. They see a yellow orange chute. Estimating altitude uh, 2,000 feet. The slow descent was followed down to the water by cameramen and relayed to the nation by television. Well, Houston, we've got you on the boat too. You look good. Splashdown. The recovery mission begins. The WASP was almost alongside the spacecraft as it splashed down. Rescue swimmers were in the water with a flotation collar, ready to check in with the crew. Jim Lovell was the first to be lifted into the waiting helicopter. It returned immediately with a sling to pick up Ed Aldrin. We're soon aboard and receiving the congratulations of the helicopter crew. The Gemini 12 flight is officially over at 2.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It passes into history.